UT Martin head coach Jason Simpson, the Skyhawks, 28-27 overtime winners at nationally ranked Eastern Illinois, 5-1 and one on the season, 2-0 and oh in conference play. Uh, they have the open date uh, this week and then back in action against Charleston Southern on the 21st. So, Coach, just some thoughts on that exciting EIU game, and we'll go to some questions. Yeah, great. Um, you know, first of all, uh, obviously very, uh, you know, excited about the win. It was a hard fall football game on both sides. Um, you know, uh, Coach – Coach has done a great job at Eastern Illinois, he recruited well, had really good schemes. His kids played hard. Um, you know, they obviously, you look at the game, they certainly played well enough to win uh, win the game, okay? Uh, so credit to them. And that was, that's a tough loss, okay? Uh, you know, things that, that I'll start with, the things we did well were, you know, there were a resolve to win, okay? Uh, there was confidence to win. We've been in those situations before. Uh, you know, and I think that probably, you know, you know, was was the difference. You know, we made just one more play uh, than, than they did. OK, things that, you know, got us in that situation. And is a lot of it's a credit to to Eastern Illinois. All right. But uh, he turned the ball over four times. OK, probably put it on the ground six times in the game. Uh, you get 11 penalties. OK, uh, miss a miss a field goal. Uh, you know, so. You know, it's hard, hard to win games on the road, uh, you know, to be able to overcome that and still win. Like I said, once again, credit to our kids. Uh, but uh, we were fortunate in some aspects when it comes to that. So uh, open week comes at a good time and some things hopefully we'll correct. Uh, you know, we played without Hastings again. Sam Franklin only got nine carries, um, you know, and still got the shoulder um, shoulder injury that he's nursing right now. So. You know, that's part of this game. It's a cruel part of this game, and you got to play through that. And, uh, you know, when you go on the road and play some good teams, um, you know, you got to have some breaks in order to get some wins. Thanks, Coach. Uh, we'll go to some questions. Walk me through the last play in overtime. Did you think they were going to go for two before they did, and how did you all uh, defend that? Uh, you know, it's in my mind. I mean, I'm looking at my call sheet thinking, okay, we got to, you know, the second overtime. Uh, you know, now you got to go for two, all right? And if it makes it a third, you know, so how many good two-play points do we, you know, have? And I guess it was in the back of my mind. I don't blame coach. I mean, get it down to one play. You're at home. Uh, you're home, you know, you're, you're, you practice that play a lot of times. Uh, so, you know, that's um, been on the other side of that. And, uh, you know, sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. How do you then, you say it comes at a good time, how do you use this week then just to, uh, you know, make your team uh, better and get uh, get healthy? Uh, you know what? It's kind of, you know, um, I was telling the staff, I, I, I and we'll see if it follows through today, but some of our leader, uh, Jay Rogers, one of our starting defensive linemen, you know, after the end of the, you know, celebration in the locker room and, you know, we're thankful for the win. And he said, Coach, can I say something? And I said, yeah, what you got? You know, and he told the team, hey, Let's use these three days of practice this week. We got to get better. You know, we we got things we can improve on and stuff. So, you know, you hope that it's player led, uh, that the kids, uh, you know, this will practice today, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, you know, some things we got to improve on, and uh, you know, the the, the the kids embrace that. Uh, you know, now a lot of the coaches are. We got a skeleton crew and staff. A lot of guys I've sent on the road recruiting. I mean, you you still got to look forward to the to the next year and stuff. So some things we need to get done across the Southeast here and get into some high schools and junior colleges. Uh, so that's what we'll get done this week. And, uh, you know, the practices will be shorter, um, you know, when and try to emphasize some things we want to improve on. You know, there's things to improve on, work on always. But if you said you'd be five and one at the open date, is that, would you obviously take that before the season started? Uh, no, you know, um, you know, Three and three sounds better. No, <laughs> no, one hundred percent, Kyle. No, you're right. Absolutely, man. You know, uh, you open up with Georgia, and you know that was a great experience. Okay, but you know, anytime these games, these coaches will tell you, and you know, you've been around this a long time. It's it, it's it's a lot easier to lose than it is to win. I mean, you know, so you have to do things the right way. You have to, you know, there, there's certain physical things that have to happen. There's certain mental things that have to happen during the week and on Saturday uh, for you to do that. And um, our kids have got to, you know, there's a good culture in that locker room of of understanding the things that have to happen during the week. And, uh, you know, and if you, our, our belief is if you do that enough, even when things don't go your way on Saturday, you know, you, you, you still have the mental capacity to overcome those. Okay. And, uh, you know, that's what the players did this week. 
last question, we'll let you go. We asked this a week or two ago as well. Um, you found different ways to win, and every game has been different. So I think this is was this is just another game where you you were up, and then it got tied, and then you had to go to overtime. Just a, a collective difference to uh, find a way to win. No, no, you're right about that. That's um, you know sometimes when you're when you have a, a good season, you know uh, in 21 we won 10 games. Okay. Uh, and right now sitting here, you know, I'm proud of that year, but I can't remember all the different ways that we won. And I'm sure it was probably kind of like this. OK, so, um, you know, you you, you kind of take those tough, close wins for granted when you get to the end of the season. And then you look back and you go, oh, yeah, that was, a, you know, could have easily lost that one, could easily lost that one. OK, so, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, and maybe maybe that tough game against Missouri State or the comeback against North Alabama, maybe that, you know, I know it did. It helped us on Saturday. Um, you know, to get over the hump and, you know, not be surprised when we went to overtime and, and um, you know, so yeah, those experiences are good. Yeah. But now you still got to keep working to try to, you know, to dominate and play better in a game, but you know what, you play good teams and, and, and East Illinois is a good football team. And anybody that turns that tape on, will see that those, those kids on defense run to the ball, they got a good scheme and their quarterback made a lot of plays and, you know, when, so without, without Franklin and then without uh, Hastings back there at safety, that made us very vulnerable. And now I am proud we held, you know, still in regulation, held a team to 21 points. Okay. Made a few plays to, you know, stay in the game and score 21 points, but we had a lot of short fields that didn't punch the ball in. And, um, you know, and with those four turnovers, that's, that's not good football. Excuse me, coach. Thanks for your time this morning. Best of luck in your open date. And we'll talk to you again next week. Hey, thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you.